hello guys welcome back to our channel code elevate in the previous video we called update booking status api from our angular application and after that we created full stack api to get bookings of the client and in today's video we will show these bookings to the client in new component in our angular application and after this we will create review entity in our Spring Boot application. So let's get started. So as you know, in the client service, we already created a method get my bookings to call our API. Now we need to create a new component. So we will right click on the pages folder and we will open it in integrated terminal. And here we need to write the command which is ng g for generate c for component and we will name this component as my bookings and as you can see my bookings component is ready now let's open the routing file of our client module and in this file we need to create a new route so let's duplicate the dashboard route and for the path we need to set it as bookings and after this we need to update the component to my bookings component and with this our routing file is completed now we will save this file and we will open the pages folder and inside the pages we will open my bookings and then my bookings ts file and in this file first of all we will create a constructor for this component and in this constructor we need to inject the client service to call the apis now let's click on quick fix and let's add import and after this to call the api let's create a method here and let's name it as get my bookings and in the body of this method we will use our client service and we will call get my bookings method and after this we need to subscribe the response and we will name it as res and after this we will write arrow function and in the body we need to save the response in some variable so let's create a variable here and let's name this as booked services and after this let's go back to the method and here we will use that booked services variable and we will set the value of res in it and after this let's create ng on init method and in the body of this method we will call this get bookings method so we can get the response of the api when our component gets loaded and with this the ts code is completed now we will save this file and we will open the html file and in this html file we will create a table to show the data and we will use ng table and for the ng page size we will set it to 20 and for the ng show pagination we will set it to false and after this we need to bind the ng data and we will use our booked service variable for that and after this in the ng table tag we will write a tag for the table head and we will write a tag for the table body and in the table head we need to create the header row so we will create table row tag and inside this we will use th tag and we will show service as the first column and after this we will show the date and after the date we will show status and after the status we need to show a column for the action and after this let's go to the table body and here let's write a tag for the table row and in this table row we will write ng for loop and we will use let keyword and we will name the single booking as booking and after the off keyword we will use basic table dot data which is basically the booked services and after this we need to write the code to show the data and to do that we will use td tags and we will show booking dot service name in the first column and after this we will write a tag to show the booking date and we will format the date by using the date pipe and after this we will show the status of the booking and after this in the action column we need to show a button for the review and to do that first of all we will write a span tag and we will use ng if condition and we will call booking dot review status and we will show this span only if the status is false and in this span tag we will write a tag for the table data and in this table data we will write a tag for the button and we will show review as text and with this our html code is completed as well now we will save this file and we will run our application
and as you can see our application is up without any errors now let's go to the browser and let's validate the functionality of my bookings page and on the login page of our application i added the login details of the customer now let's click on this login button and as you can see we got redirected to the client dashboard now we need to see the bookings of this client so we can click on this bookings button and as you can see we got redirected to the bookings page and here we can see one booking of this client and in this table we can see the service name the date the status and the action button for the review and as this booking is not reviewed yet so we can see the review button as well now let's go to our spring boot application and let's create the review entity and in our backend application to create the review entity we will right click on the entities package and we will create a new java class and we will name this class as review and after this we need to annotate this with at the rate entity annotation and we need to annotate with at the rate data annotation and after this we need to mention the fields for our review and the first field will be private and the data type of this will be long and we need to name this as id and to make it a primary key we need to annotate this with at the rate id annotation and after that we need to give the generation logic so we will add at the rate generated value annotation and for the strategy we will set it as generation type dot identity so it can increment automatically one by one and after this we need to store the review date so we will write private and the data type of this will be date and we will name this as review date and after the review date we need to store the feedback of the user so we will write private and the data type of this will be string and we will name this as review and after this we need to store the rating so we will write private and the data type of this will be long and we will name this as rating and after this we need to establish the relation of the review with the user so we will write private and we will mention user here and we will name this as user and after this we need to mention at the rate many to one annotation because one user can create multiple reviews for the multiple reservations and for the fetch type we will set it as fetch type dot lazy and for the optional we will set it as false and after this we need to mention at the rate join column annotation and for the name we will set it as user underscore id and for the null label we will set it as false and after this we need to mention at the rate on delete annotation and for the action we will set it as on deletion action dot cascade so if our reservation got deleted the review should get deleted automatically as well and after this we need to establish the relation of the review with the add as well so we will copy this user relation and we will paste it here and we will replace the user with add and we will name this as add and after this we need to update the name in the join column and we will set it as add underscore id and with this our review entity is completed now we will open our main class and we will run our application and as you can see our application is up without any errors now let's go to the workbench and let's verify if we got the review table or not and in our workbench we will open service booking system db and we will expand the tables and as you can see we got the review table let's open this review table and you can see we got the column id rating review review date add id and user id and that's it for this video in the next video we will create post review api call in our spring boot application with the review dto and review repository